Another major silly season domino has officially fallen as Zane Smith announces his 2024 NASCAR Cup Series plans. What's going on guys, it's Daniel and welcome back to your video. As it was just announced a few minutes ago, Zane Smith has officially announced his 2024 NASCAR Cup Series plans. And this announcement has a lot of big implications going into 2024. Zane Smith, as it was reported earlier in the week by Bob Pockers and Adam Stern, he will be joining Trackhouse Racing's program on a multi-year deal starting in 2024. Now, Zane Smith will not be racing for Trackhouse Racing in 2024, but it was announced that Zane Smith will be driving a third car for Spire Motorsports heading into the 2024 season. This also confirms our report from earlier in the week that Spire Motorsports has bought up the charter from Live Fast Motorsports. Now, Live Fast Motorsports had just confirmed very, very recently that they will basically run a part-time schedule in the 2024 season, but they will not be full-time in 2024, and they have sold the charter for $40 million to Spire Motorsports. It was also announced, I don't know if I mentioned this, but they will have a basically an alliance with Trackhouse Racing, meaning the Zane Smith in 2025. More than likely, they'll probably acquire Zane Smith in 2025 and move him over into the Trackhouse Racing family in the 2025 season. This is an absolute massive and huge story for many, many reasons. Zane Smith, in my honest opinion, is one of the best up-and-coming talents in the sport right now. He just won the 2022 NASCAR Truck Series Championship and could go back-to-back -back in 2023. Has won two races so far this year, but you go back to last year, what he did with Farmer Motorsports in his first year with that organization, like I said, won the championship with that team and has done a lot of incredible things. I remember going, remember going back earlier this year where Zane Smith went on to get a top 10 in the Coca-Cola 600 and has shown some flash of brilliance in the Xfinity Series and a couple starts he had there and also in the NASCAR Cup Series as well. But this is absolutely huge for many, many reasons because he will be joining the Spire Motorsports family as well. We've seen what Spire Motorsports has been doing this year in 2023. We've seen Corolla Joy show major signs of improvement this year in the 2023 year. It's had some top fives and some top tens, and it's been in the top 25 to top 30 points all year long. And it's heavily rumored at this point that Carson Rose Bar might be joining that family as well in 2024 into 77. But Zane Smith joining the Trackhouse Racing family is absolutely incredible. And I it kind of comes full circle. When you really think about it, when it comes to Zane Smith, Zane Smith originally was going to drive for Chip Ganassi Racing in 2022. But remember, in the middle of 2021, it was officially announced that Trackhouse Racing had bought up Chip Ganassi Racing's NASCAR Cup Series program. Like I said, Zane Smith was originally going to be that said driver of that number one car for 2022 because Kurt Busch was regardless going to be leading for 2311 Racing in 2022. But then, of course, it was announced in June or July that he would be they would be purchasing that up, meaning that Zane Smith would have to go there. And then, of course, he got the text from them. It's like, oh, crap. That's what Justin Mark said in the press conference earlier today. But I am absolutely stoked and pumped up for Zane Smith going into 2024. I know people are saying that this is a massive downgrade for Zane Smith. I know there have been a lot of talk about him maybe going to Stuart Haas Race 2024, which we'll speculate that on here in just a little bit. He might get that right next year in 2024. But I think this actually is a fantastic move for Zane Smith because, one, eventually, Zane Smith is eventually going to go in-house with Trackhouse Racing, more than likely in 2025. Because they're going to get a lot of money. And of course, Fire Motorsports is having a lot of track outs racing. But not only that as well. Look what they're doing currently at the moment as Fire Motorsports. They've had a huge upgrade this year. Gamebird just come in and is a major, major partner with the team this year. And they have spent a lot of money upgrading their equipment. And it's really shown with how much more improvement we've seen out of the Fire Motorsports group. Now, let's go to the other side of things. Fire Motorsports buying the charter up for $40 million. Like I said earlier in the video, this had the rumor that this is more likely going to happen, and now it was officially confirmed today that that is happening. Look, as much as it's cool to see, it was really awesome to see Live Fast Motorsports out on the racetrack. $40 million is not a bad decision to make. And look for BJ McLeod, as much as it would have been cool to see Live Fast Motorsports continue going to 2024. I'm going to be honest, I think there's a really good chance that their charter was likely going to get revoked for 2024. And I think they're making a great business decision because you look at the money they're going to get, they can put that money into their Xfinity program. And this year at times, we've seen their program become much, much faster. And that program could be a really top tier team going to 2024. They've shown improvement this year, and I think it would be a really, really good move for Live Fast Motorsports. Don't get me wrong, I'm a fan of Live Fast Motorsports, but I think this is a great decision. 
And guess what? They're still going to be part-time in 2024. My guess is they're probably going to run all the super speedway races, probably maybe some of the road course races as well, but they're not going to be running full-time in 2024 because if you run full-time, you're going to basically not get a lot of money because basically you get 30, 35th place purse money regardless if you win the race or not, which really fast motorsports had not shown that capability. There's been other teams like Spire and Ricker Racing who have shown major signs of improvement. But going back and talking about Zane Smith, this, in my opinion, is an absolute huge dub for Zane Smith to join the family. Drag House Racing is making some massive, massive moves. They've got Ross just standing in the organization, and Ross is signed for a long-term deal with the team. And Ross has been doing an amazing job with the team, scoring three wins. I know this year, 2023, Ross Zane has not been as good as he was in 2022. But I think that this next year, he is going to get better. And I think that Chastain has got a chance to make it to the round of 12 later this evening. And I think he's going to continue doing great things there. And then you look at Daniel Suarez. Daniel Suarez is a franchise driver of this team. He's a person that they originally started the organization with. And Daniel Suarez, I think, has gotten better over the last few years. And has found somewhere where he can be basically the main focus. Which, let's be honest, I don't think Rosh has seen the main, main focus. I think they're both the main focus. Now having a guy like Zane Smith in the organization, probably the best up-and-coming talents and the best prospects prospects in the lower series currently at the moment. I could not be happier for Zane Smith. And Zane Smith during the press conference earlier today, you could tell how much this meant to him. He was getting extremely emotional and I don't blame him. This is absolutely a huge massive move for Zane Smith to go from the truck series all the way up to the cup series. But this is a well-deserved opportunity for Zane Smith going into 2024 and I cannot wait to see what happens. Now, what are my expectations for Zane Smith going into the 2024 season? Well, I think that Zane Smith is actually going to do a pretty solid job next year. We've seen what Spire Motorsports can do, and I think they're going to take major steps further, especially with Trackhouse Racing coming into play. I think all three cars next year, depending on who gets in the 77 car, all three cars next year are going to be somewhat of an underdogs to make the playoffs, and I do believe they are going to have a much better year going into the 2024 season. I think that Zane Smith will contend for some top 10s, might get some top 15s throughout the year. I think he's going to be able to get the best out of equipment. He's likely to be teamed as a Carson Osbar this year, which I think Carson Osbar is an extremely, really underrated driver right now. He's been killing in the truck series as well. He's likely, of course, headed the 77 car next year. And then, like I said, they're going to have Corey LaJoy on the team, which is really, really stacked. And I think that this lineup is going to be very, very strong. Now, let's talk about Ford because once again, Ford unfortunately fumbled the bag. I don't think it's completely their fault in this situation, but it is somewhat their fault because they lost another talented driver. Zane Smith was definitely the best Ford driver that was in the Ford pipeline. What do you have now? You've got Haley Deegan and you have Riley Herbs. That's about it. There might be other couple other drivers in the lower tier, but right now, there really are not a lot of drivers in the Ford Pipeline. You have Ty Majeski that could be in the Ford Pipeline, but they have lost so much talent in Ford's Pipeline. You look at the last few years, they had an opportunity to get Kyle Larson at Stuart Haas Racing for 2021. Albeit, eventually, Kyle Larson went to Hendrick Motorsports for 2021, which initially, that was where he was going to go regardless for all the stuff that ended up happening. But Tony Stewart wanted Kyle Larson at Stuart Haas Racing, and they completely fumbled that. Then you go to Kyle Busch. There were rumors circulating in later 2022 that Kyle Busch might have had a chance and there may have been some conversations that Kyle Busch was potentially going to go to Super Haas Racing 2023, but that unfortunately fell through. And now Zane Smith, we all initially thought was going to be headed to Super Haas Racing. He is now headed to Trackhouse Racing, and that's a massive loss for Ford, and I think Ford's long-term future is a little uncertain. Now, there's drivers they could definitely try to push from other organizations, from other teams they could try to bring into Ford Pipeline for 2024, but I think Ford has really fumbled. So at this point now, what happens with the 10 car? Because we all thought that Zane Smith was going to be headed to that 10 car in 2024. Obviously, there's been a lot of rummies circulating that SHR might downsize as well going into 2024. There's a lot of chances that Eric Almirola might retire at the end of this year, maybe comes back for 2024. But I think it's very likely at this point that Eric Almirola is going to retire at the end of the 2023 year. And my best guess is that Cole Custer is likely to end up getting that 10 car, whether it's 2024 or 2025, is to be determined. He's ran the Cup Series in the past. I know he's been great in Nick's Finney, but he's really the best option to got into the lower series that can go to that 10 car going into next year. Maybe they can somehow get Noah Gregson, but I don't think that's going to end up happening for 2024. Nonetheless, going back and talking about Zane Smith, I'm so stoked for him. Zane Smith 1,000% deserves this opportunity, deserves this shot. 
and I'm really stoked to see that Zane Smith will be a full-time NASCAR Cup Series driver heading into the 2024 year. I think Zane Smith, of course, only 24, 25, will be a little older than some rookies we've seen, but again, I think this is a fantastic move for the team. I think Spire and Track is doing a really good job basically having a partnership going into next year, and I think this is going to work wonders for Spire Motorsports and Trackhouse Racing going to 2024. So I'm really happy about this. And nonetheless, it's amazing to see that both that Zane Smith will be joining the Trackhouse Racing family in the 2024 season. So that is going to be today's special breaking news report. I want to thank guys for watching. Please like, subscribe to the channel, notifications on, so if I win a video, it does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and support me on Patreon as well. Link description below that, and comment your thoughts below on today's episode. How will you think Zane hits Smith will perform at Trackhouse Inspire next year? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Later time on the channel, hopefully we'll have the NASCAR Cup Series race view from Bristol Motor Speedway. Then tomorrow, if the race doesn't end up happening, there should be a 2025 NASCAR Silly Season predictions dropping on the channel. And then in the, there should be a lot of great content dropping throughout the week as well. Hopefully, we're going to get the 2024 schedule here in the next week or two. We'll have to wait and see what happens. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode, and I'll see you guys next time for more great awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.